Welcome back astrophotographers. Today we're checking out a new star tracker that has come out recently. It is called the Nomad from the company Move Shoot Move and I happen to have one here courtesy of Move Shoot Move. They reached out to me to make this video review so thank you for that opportunity and thank you for sending me one of your units. In this video though we're going to be going over whether or not this little guy is worth your hard-earned money and whether or not you should put this in your astrophotography bag going forward. Let's get right into it. As always, thank you so much for joining me again for another video here on my channel. If you do like the content that I post, please do subscribe. It helps me make more content for you going forward. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Max. I'm here to give you a review today of the Nomad from Move, Shoot, Move. This is a complete little star tracker that is made out of a solid little block here of CNC machined aluminum. You can see it says Nomad on the back. This little guy hosts a 7.7 .7 pound payload capacity or a three and a half kilogram weight capacity if you're not in the US. But this little guy is small. It fits in the palm of your hand just like this. It is super portable, super lightweight. It weighs about one pound and it is very simplistic in the very best of ways. If we look at the star tracker from the front here, the only thing that you have is this circular ring, which is removable here. You unthread this portion and you get your plate that you attach your ball head to or any of your other camera accessories that you might be using. And then on the back of it, it has these little teeth you can see here. And the little teeth line up with the little teeth here on the front and you simply put it on like that. You line up those teeth right there and then you thread on the front cap like this to secure your devices on the front. Now, looking at the side of this, you only have a very simple rocker switch. It's just going to say north, south, and off is in the middle. And then you also have a USB-C port here. They do give you a USB-C cable in the box. That is for charging. This little guy lasts about five hours on a single charge out under the night sky. And it actually does relatively well under the cold conditions. I had this out last weekend during my Messier Marathon. And this little guy tracked for almost four and a half hours, even in the cold almost about 32 degrees or so. So it was getting down to the freezing point and this little guy still exceeded four hours of tracking, which I was certainly really impressed with. Now looking on the back, there really is nothing besides just the name. And then you have this little thing here, this little cap. This unthreads. And then once you're done unthreading this, you can attach your laser pointer through here and use it to polar a line. So there's just a nice solid hole there. It does have some threads in it. And then you have that little peep out the front of the star tracker here that allows you to successfully use your laser pointer for the polar alignment. Now looking at the bottom here, you're just going to have kind of a dovetail slider. This slides on to the wedge if you choose to get one. This does come with a plethora of different accessories that you can buy sort of a kit for. You can get a wedge, you can get a ball head, you can buy just the mount by itself, you can get one with just a laser pointer, you can get one with all of those things combined. It just matters how much money you want to spend on this little guy. This is a very simplistic star tracker I have found. It is perfect at exactly what it is intended for, which is wide field astrophotography. Now I took this out last weekend and captured a few shots with a variable of different lenses of mine, ranging from a 14 millimeter wide angle on my Canon 6D Mark II, which is a full frame camera. It exceeded my expectations with over one minute of exposures with no star trails at all. I even pumped up the power for the lens and put on my 135 millimeter Rokinon lens that is significantly more narrow field of view than the 14 millimeter lens that I have. And I was able to capture this photo of Andromeda and the comet Pondsbrooks that was going by underneath Andromeda one night. 
So this camera star tracker really does a really nice job of doing what it's supposed to do. Now, unlike the Skywatch or Star Adventurer or some of the other ones out there that have a lot more features like solar tracking abilities or time-lapse photography features, etc., this is intended just for your wide field astrophotography. This is not going to be able to do time lapses or anything like that. This is just for wide field Milky Way shots. And if you wanted to attempt some wide field nebula shots with a zoom lens, you can of course try it as long as you're underneath the payload with one of these. The only thing I will say that I'm not really a fan of is that they don't have a quarter 20 on the bottom of this. So instead, if you buy just the mount head by itself, I would have expected it to have a quarter 20, that if you were just using a regular photo tripod, you could have just attached this onto a regular photo tripod of any variety and off to the hills you go. But that's not necessarily the case. You'll need to attach it with the wedge or some of the other accessories that use this similar type of dovetail shoe on the bottom. The only place I've seen these available for sale is on Move Shoot Moves website directly. They are on sale right now for starting at $200 for the mount head only. And then as you progress up higher into the kits, obviously you get more and more money that you can find whatever is within your price range. I would recommend you check out this little star tracker. It's actually quite impressed me with its ability and its accuracy so far, I even almost fully loaded. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. And if you're interested in picking up one of these, I'll have a link in the description to Move Shoot Moves' website so that you can research which one of these is best for you. Until next time, clear skies.